banks that have lent money to Kingfisher Airlines are giving up hopes of recovering their money. Now, Bloomberg TV India learns that a consortium of 17 bankers may not be able to recover even one third of the loans given to Kingfisher. Saloni joins us with details of that story. Saloni, how much of a hit will the banks have to take? And you know, this is something that's been going on since 2012. So effectively, that's a year and a half. We've seen the uh, company being dragged to the courts uh, in Karnataka. Why have they suddenly woken up and realized they cannot recover the money? Well, Terry, this looks like the last straw because remember, as you mentioned, uh, 12th of February was the day last year when the 17-member consortium announced that they will be recalling loans to Kingfisher Airlines, after which the debt has piled up to 12,000 crore rupees. Now, we've spoken to a host of these members in the 17-member consortium and who have indicated uh, that the collateral that was pledged against these loans is not enough at all. So they might be only able to recover 20% or one-third of these loans. So remember, uh, right now, as per the plan, they have recovered almost 700 crore via sale of uh, uh, shares. Also, 1,000 crore rupees uh, can be recovered from sale of fixed assets and 300 crore rupees from real estate. So it rounds up about 2,000 crore. Uh, still, uh, if with interest, the debt is piled up to 12,000 crore rupees. They will be taking a provisioning hit over four years. So the provisioning hit started last year uh, when they uh, recall these loans. Uh, so clearly, they will be taking a hit of about 8,000 crore rupees and remember at a time when the finance ministry is even championing and the RBI is championing the cause of uh, no rich promoter and poor company uh, that is when we are seeing that lenders are finally going forward and fighting 19 cases and are giving up on loans that was lent to Kingfisher Airlines back to you Saloni, you know, this is, of course, my favorite company in the whole world. So I need to ask you, if they're saying they can't recover even one third, where do they think they're going to get, you know, that balance from considering that Kingfisher has been saying it's looking for foreign investment since 2012, nothing has come forward. It doesn't look like any investments are going to come to the company. What are the bankers you've spoken to telling you about where they can expect to get that money from? Uh, Sunanda, remember uh, last year we saw a series of meetings that happened between the Kingfisher management and uh, the 17-member consortium. That is when uh, Dr. Malia had said that he will get investors, uh, global investors, when he was talking to so sovereign fronts. Uh, but clearly those investors had said they, they want the airline up and running, for which Kingfisher Airlines had to inject money, after which Kingfisher Airlines approached these banks for fresh capital. Uh, but of course, uh, these bankers declined to uh, give uh, that fresh capital before uh, getting their loans back. So right now, out of the 8,000 crore rupees, we're seeing them recover 7, 700 crore from a sale of shares. 1,000 crore, they will be recovering from fixed assets. So you have, uh, you know, the aircraft uh, and other stuff. Also 300 crore from the Goa uh, property and uh, and the Mumbai property, the real estate property. Uh, but clearly, this will be a big hit, a provisioning hit, because remember, interests on these loans are piling up. So this will be a four-year-long uh, provisioning hit that these banks will have to take. SBI is the largest lender to Kingfisher Airlines. Uh, the exposure was 600, uh, 1,600 crore rupees and we are seeing interest piling up on the 8,000 crore uh, that was lent to this uh, beleaguered company.